بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی سیکنڈ ویڈیو آن کمیونیکیشن اسکلس ٹوڈے ویل بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کمیونیکیشن بیریئرس اے کمیونیکیشن بیریئر از اینی تھنگ دیٹ پریونٹس اس فرام ریسیونگ اینڈ انڈرسٹینڈنگ دا میسیجز دیٹ ادرز یوز ٹو کنوے دا انفارمیشن آئیڈیاز اینڈ تھاٹس دے کین انٹرفیئر ود بلاک دا میسیج دیٹ یو ٹرائنگ ٹو سینڈ لائک Uh, they are basically the hindrances or they are the channels that stop your conversation or they bring some trouble in your conversation. So barriers have different types. There are semantic barriers, there are physical barriers, there are organizational barriers, there are emotional barriers, there are personal and uh, technological, cultural. So we'll be discussing them in detail. The first type is semantic barrier, which is also called language barrier. So language barrier is a figurative phrase used primarily to refer to the linguistic barriers to communication. For example, those difficulties in communication that is experienced by people or groups originally speaking different languages or even dialects in some cases. So in this, we have language problems, poor vocabulary, poor knowledge of grammar, poor pronunciation, poor handwriting. So yes, all these things play a role in uh, our inability to comprehend a message. For example, first of all, language problems. A person speaking Russian will not be able to uh, get good or effective communication with a person who is uh, not able to speak Russian language. So language barrier is there. Then we have poor vocabulary. So if we are uh, not uh, having enough vocabulary in any language, we will not be able to understand the gist of the information that the sender wants to convey. So vocabulary plays a vital role. Poor knowledge of grammar. If we don't know what tense is used, if we don't know what the person intends conveying, so we will not be able to comprehend the complete discussion. In this way, the communication will not remain effective. If you are not uh, having good pronunciation, uh, certainly uh, that will act like a barrier in the language or in the communication. People will not be able to understand you or you will not be able to convey what in fact you want to convey. When we talk about written communication, then poor handwriting, like the doctor's handwriting, for example, is a big hurdle. You cannot understand a pathetic or illegible handwriting. Your handwriting should be legible. You should be able to write well. And uh, whatever you write should be neat. And people should understand that. The physical barrier refers to the noise, the poor timing, the distance, uh, in educate uh, our loaded information. For example, if you are teaching in a noisy room, so people won't be able to understand you. You are in some stadium, you are in some open place where there are lots of people listening to you and you cannot speak without a mic, so uh, that, that noise will create hindrance. Then it is uh, the poor timing. You will not be able to convey your message until or unless you select a proper time in which you have to speak. Like uh, uh, you should see what timing suits uh, you in uh, your that uh, dissemination of knowledge. Uh, what is a good time to speak to the people uh, that can be chosen by you. Like we have different timetables in our universities, in particular institutes. Uh, and uh, again, uh, the timing also refers to when you talk about high ups, you, you properly, uh, you should be needing uh, proper information. What time suits you and uh, the, what time suits the person you want to meet. Then the distance, that matters, that you should not be uh, having very reduced distance with the person you are communicating or that distance should not be uh, that vast that the person is unable to understand you. So that is... Uh, that should be a considerable distance, like uh, it is said that one meter distance is enough, uh, like uh, uh, two and a half feet to th 
three feet distance that is good or if you use in etiquette or overloaded information so this is also something that if uh, uh, you fill the complete page with lots of information so that is also a barrier in communication no one would like to read that so you must have seen the slides which are filled from top to bottom with all the text so uh, such things lose their interest so this barrier is more about uh, the student studying uh, business and business communication uh, marketing skills so this is more for them like in organization there are certain rules and regulations you need to follow them and uh, uh, like you cannot communicate openly freely uh, because you are bound to the rules and then uh, there are hierarchical uh, hierarchical relationships uh, some uh, people are senior and some are junior and you need to choose uh, the words uh, to communicate to the people and there are lack of staff meetings uh most of the people working in an organization are even aware of the aim of the organization so uh, they don't know much uh, uh, that what is to be done by them and then poor choice of channel sometimes uh, uh like uh, very pathetic channels are used in the communication within the organization uh, there is no proper face to face communication which is considered the best or the emails which are considered the best in written communication so uh, if we are using other than these channels then uh, the communication is uh, the career suffers a halt so uh, we should be avoiding these things so here we are having uh, emotional barrier so in emotional barrier like first of all we have selective perceptions for example we listen what we want to listen uh if i am not willing to listen to anything i will not pay attention in this way the communication will not remain successful and rather that will be an ineffective communication then we have poor listening skills we are not we are just hearing we are not listening so if you are not listening properly if you are not paying attention we are not able to give proper feedback in this way our communication remains uh, uh, unsuccessful egotism that i will not listen to you whatever you may say whether you're saying good or bad i have my own ego so this is a thing that creates hindrances like if uh, i am not able to communicate well that may be because of my own ego so we should eliminate this ego before going towards effective communication emotions play a role like if you're too happy too sad you're too nervous you won't be able to communicate well so we should uh, normalize ourselves before coming to some communication that we want to end at effective level so the next barrier is at personal level uh, we have uh, sub types of it like in superiors or in subordinates superiors mein ye hai ki first of all lack of time like unke paas itna waqt nahi hai ki wo aapki communication ko mukammal taur pe sun sake तो कई दफ़ा आपकी इन्फॉर्मेशन आपकी कम्युनिकेशन बहुत अच्छी होती है लेकिन सिर्फ उनके टाइम ना होने की वजह से वो इन इफेक्टिव रहती है एट सेकेंड लेवल यू आर नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट इनफ कि आप उनसे अपनी बात कन्वे कर सकें उन लोगों को आप उनसे कुछ कह सकें सो यू फेल हेजिटेंट यू नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट इनफ टू एक्सप्लेन योर सेल्फ या फिर लैक ऑफ प्रॉपर कम्युनिकेशन चैनल हमारे पास प्रॉपर कम्युनिकेशन चैनल नहीं होता या हमारी उन सुपीरियर्स तक एक्सेस नहीं होती फेस टू फेस या वी आर नॉट एबल टू ई मेल दैम इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग दीज थिंग्स तो वी आर नॉट लेफ्ट विद सम गुड कम्युनिकेशन चैनल वाई टॉकिंग अबाउट सब ऑर्डिनेट्स मोस्ट आर अनविलिंग टू कम्युनिकेट उनके पास कोई फेयर है शायद सुपीरियर्स का वो डरते हैं उनकी कम्युनिकेशन गलत ना हो जाए खराब ना हो जाए इस वजह से दे आर अनविलिंग टू पर्टिस next is technological barrier uh, first of all uh, why is there barrier in communication because we not be we may not be updated uh, with the technology like in present times of covid 19 like we are all at home there is no uh, university going on all the classes are held online so there are so many methods uh, to use 
and disseminate information uh, that we can uh, take online classes like we are taking classes from uh, Google Classroom. So we need to tackle uh, the situation, however, whatever it may be. So most of us are unupdated with the technology. And then we lack technological knowledge. Like uh, if we don't have technological knowledge, we will not be able to communicate certain things because for certain communications, we need to use uh, the latest resources of technology. And then technical noise. You remember the telephone was a noise. Or you have a short shrub. Or you can't concentrate on any other thing. So the noise, uh, the technic at technical level, distortion, hai, whatever it may be, that creates hindrance in communication. Or that may be a barrier at decoding stage. Like that is a technological barrier at decoding stage. That may be referred to as like in computer, you can translate something in Google Translator, so you can decode it. Uh, this is a decoding process. If there is no decoding process, mein koi hai, so that will uh, work as a barrier. Last but not the least, we have uh, cultural barriers. So cultural barriers play again a vital role like the rest of the barriers. Uh, like adopting uh, to the behavior of the group. For example, uh, there may be so many social groups or uh, cultural groups, uh, ethnical groups, uh, we may not be able to mix up with. So if you are not able, we are uh, unable or we don't want to mix up with them, we will not be able to communicate. So that communication will remain ineffective. If we don't group to meet with any group, we don't want to make it a part of it, then we won't be able to communicate. Religious belief, uh, for example, if uh, two people are having uh, diverse religious uh, beliefs, which must be different, then this is a nafrat layer. This is a cult. And this nafrat is a cult. Rather, if we are even listening to someone, we are listening in uh, a way to reply to them to what they are saying. We don't want to point of view. We don't want to counter argue. So in this way, communication is successful. Body language. This is not in this way, communication is successful. Body language. Yes, in uh, different cultures, uh, there may be different uh, uh, norms, social norms. Uh, there are certain places you shake your hands. There are certain places you cannot shake your hands. So culture to culture, some things vary. Karti. So, this is also communication. You can play role in your body movement. You can role in your body movement. You can role in your body movement as Romans do. So, if we want to make our communication successful, then we will mold our body language to that culture. So, we can make The last but not the least, how can we overcome these barriers? So, in very uh, simple words, we can uh, improve our listening and speaking skills. We can improve our reading and writing skills. Uh, remember, if uh, we are very good listeners, we are very good speakers. And if we are good readers, we are good writers. So are these four skills, if they are good, we are able to communicate well. And then we should clarify the ideas before communicating. For example, uh, like in my first video, I told about the importance of communication skill. Then I jumped to the lecture. So this is the way to create interest in the audience we should first tell them that what we are going to talk about. So this uh, brings them uh, to the topic, uh, creates an inquisitive nature in them, that what we are going to talk about. Then we should be put in consideration. Uh, we should be uh, not waiting for our turn to speak, or we should not be waiting uh, to counter-argue what is said. We should be put in consideration in a way that uh, whatever is said, we should listen emphatically, and then we should be able to repeat what is said. So that makes uh, uh, or brings the person at considerate level. That, that is basically a win-win situation. Then we should be uh, aware of language, tone, and content. And that varies from place to place, organization to organization, people to people, and level of communication to level of communication. That what kind of language, tone, and content we should use. Then we should be feeling motivated. Now this is something that will that is within, not without. 
we have to feel that we have to tell ourselves that we can communicate well we should uh, leave behind the uh, less confidence level we should uh, uh, remove the distractors hame bilkul in cheezon ko piche chhod dena hai jab tak hamare andar se hum motivated feel nahi karenge hum acche communicator achi tarah communicate nahi kar sakte and then vocabulary ek big hindrance hai hame updated vocabulary rakhni chahiye the vocabulary doesn't mean ke aap uh, you need to learn the whole dictionary vocabulary simply means that you should be able to know the major words which are used in daily life jiski wajah se aapki communication mein koi issue na aaye uh, we should be having contextual listening or reading ke hum context mein cheezon ko understand kar sake we should make ourselves capable of this and then we should have unbiased communication tumhare kai psychological barriers waise hi avoid ho jate hain if we are uh, having unbiased communication ke if i am listening to someone who is not of my religion who is uh, no, who is not favoring my political party who is against my sect so all these things uh, can come to a better level ki main agar unbiased ho ke usse guftugu karu so that will be an effective communication so uh, ladies and gentlemen students thank you very much uh, please do subscribe the channel and uh, hit the bell icon and you will continue to see more good videos the third lecture and the last lecture in this communication skill will be uh, on uh, listening skills so wait for it and do watch it